Hi there, my name is Donald Harkness and I'm going to be showing you how to trade long term and catch those big trends using channels. A uh, little disclaimer, all information in this video guide is for educational purposes only. No system is foolproof and all forms of trading including forex involve risk to your capital. If you choose to utilize these techniques, you do so at your own risk. All right, with that out of the way. Okay, what I've done is I've opened up uh, one chart for each currency pair in Market Watch, and uh, I've set them all to the monthly time frame. All right, and I'm going to be moving through them one at a time. So, as I'm moving through them, I'm not really interested in uh, what currency pair I'm looking at? Uh, for example, I'm looking at Ford CAD. I'm not going to. I'm not going to focus on that. I'm going to be focusing on the actual chart patterns that I'm seeing in front of me. So on this one, we're going to draw a channel. I'm going to join up two points at the base. It doesn't have to be precise. I just want to get an idea. And at the top. So I've outlined the channel that uh, the movement is following. And you can see that if you count back one, two, three, four, five months ago, this was at the top of the channel. And it's progressed quite far down into the channel. Because what we're trying to do is trade from the top of the channel to the bottom of the channel. All right. To get the, the, the highest um, possible chance of winning on the trade long term. Okay, so as you can see, I'm not too interested in this one because it's already uh, it's already moved quite far down within the channel on the monthly chart. Okay, so moving on to the next one, I don't see much going on there in terms of uh, long term trends and channels. It's it's doing some very erratic stuff, so we're going to move on to the next one again. Right here, yeah. as you can see, we've definitely got a monthly channel forming there, and you can see it's very close to the base of the of the of the channel here. So this is a potential trade, but what we need to do is we need to draw down now. Uh, I'm going to the weekly and then the daily. If you look at the daily, you can see a little bit of a, a channel forming there on the daily chart. So there is potential, but we've already missed the bottom of the, of the channel there. Moving down to the four hourly, you can see that it's not in a it's not in a very bad position. Um, you could you could probably take this trade and ride it out and and get a a good trade long term there. Okay, uh, so it's not looking too bad. So this is a potential trade. If I move down to the 15 minute chart, currently the 15 minute chart seems to be uh, moving along that little channel there. So there is potential there. So I'm going to keep that one. In fact, I'm going to delete the previous two that I had open because uh, they weren't very promising. Okay, so we'll keep that one side and we'll move on to the next one. Okay, there on the monthly chart we have a, um, a channel on the month monthly movement. Okay, but you can see again, it's very hard to determine what the channel actually is, right? Could be something along those lines there. So that's potentially a good trade. It's uh, it seems to be traveling along this channel, and it's very high up on that channel. So it's it's a high probability uh, trade in that sense. If I'm drilling down. You can see on the weekly, it's also looking pretty. It looks like a pretty good trade. And it's begun to move down. 
it looks very promising. In fact, you can see there that I've got a sell in there that's that's uh, already started to make profit. Uh, yeah, that's uh, that, that's something that you'd be looking for. But you can see at the moment on the four hourly chart, we're actually on upward trend. Okay. But yes, I would get involved in this one. Pretty low lot uh, size relative to my equity. And ride it out. I'm pretty sure that if you ride that one out, you've got yourself a long term trend. It could be beneficial. So I'll keep that one open. Let's move on to the next one. Right, that just looks very erratic, so we can close that. Move on to the next one. Okay, over here you can see, although it was moving up over there, it's definitely on a downward monthly trend there. Okay. But uh it's at the bottom of the channel and we're not looking for that. We're looking for something that's more towards the top of the channel before we get involved. So we're not interested there. We move on to this one. Okay, as you can see there's nothing going on there on the monthly chart. Uh, so we can ignore that one. This one, yeah, although there's a slight upward movement, it's not a very sharp upward movement. Uh, I'm not too impressed with that one either, so we can close that. Alright, this one here it's on a very sharp downward movement on the on the long term chart. If I move to the weekly, just to get a better idea of what's going on, I can try and draw, draw a channel in there. But as you can see, I'm not too convinced that uh, it's in the right position. I'm looking for something that's more to the top of the channel. Right. It could be a potentially good trade, but we want to increase our chances as much as possible. So we'll ignore that one. Come to this one. Okay, I'm seeing a channel there, but again, we want to catch the bottom of the channel. So we'll ignore that one as well. Move on to the next one. Okay, this this one here has no... When I look at this one, I don't see I don't see a, a, a very good um, tradable pair because it seems to be very erratic. Uh, it could it could continue down from here. It's hard to say if it was actually a channel for me. Yeah. It's it's on a very I mean on the daily it's it's just, just going all over the place here. Yeah. Although it potentially could um, it could continue upward from here within this channel, but it's not convincing enough for me. So I'm going to look at something else. Again, we've got another monthly. Um, channel that looks pretty convincing. So again, here we could be looking at a potential reversal from this uh, bottom trend line. You don't want to really get involved in a falling mass, so to speak. Uh, I would be more comfortable if this was already back on its way up and it already bounced off the base of the channel. So yes, uh, it wouldn't be a very good one to get into right now because there's the potential that it could drop further. But yes, you could keep your eye on that one and, and possibly catch it on its way back up. All right, but uh, it's not going to be a, it's not going to be one that I'm going to look into. All right, so this one here, okay, the Euro Ord. Okay, the chart just doesn't make any sense, so we're going to close that one. 
This one here is all over the place. You can close that one too. Alright, so there's no smooth movement here. Uh, yes, it's on a downward trend. It's very hard to determine what the channel actually is doing here. It's not the kind of thing that I would want to get involved in. Okay. Okay, yeah, we've got a very sharp upward movement, but at the moment, the price is, if we go to the weekly, and we try and draw a channel in there, okay, it's, it's not really forming a very smooth channel. You can see it's at the top of the channel. So, we definitely all want to get involved there. Okay, here's another monthly chart. And... Again, being at the bottom of the channel like that, I don't want to be involved. This one's all over the place. Don't want to be involved. Okay, this is not convincing either. So, don't want to be involved there. Okay, so let's see what's going on on the weekly here. Well, I can't make out much from that, so we don't want to be involved there either. Same goes for that chart. That chart is not going in any direction at all. It's just moving sideways, so we're not interested there. I'm looking at monthly charts uh, initially. Okay, here again. Let's try and make sense of it. We can go down to the weekly, but you can see there does seem to be some kind of Some kind of trend there, but as as I said before, uh, we're looking for it to be on its way up from the bottom of the of the channel, and here it's definitely not doing that. So we don't want to be involved there. Go to the monthly on that. Also, don't want to be involved. So I'm going through all of them and looking for something that has a heart probability of success. So here again, we've got a channel, but we're right at the bottom of a downward channel and we don't want to be getting involved there. Again, there's nothing going on there. There's no pattern whatsoever. Alright, here, if we look at the monthly again here, you can see there's a definite channel there. Alright, but again, we want to catch the bottom. We don't want to be in getting involved after it's already left the bottom and it's been traveling upwards for like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 months or so. So, we move on to the next again. Alright, yeah, I don't see, I don't see a very smooth I don't see a very smooth channel here, but I do see something happening. Okay. If I take the lows there and the low there and that point there, we could be looking at a channel here where it's already bounced off the bottom and it's potentially on its way up. Go down to the weekly. So that wouldn't be too bad to get involved with. Okay. So we'll keep it open and have a look at it later. Okay, this monthly chart is just uh, not very promising at all, so close that. Okay. Okay, you can see although it seems to be forming a channel, it's forming a very wide and very erratic uh, movement on the monthly chart. And it's already in the middle of it. Of the channel, so no, I wouldn't want to be involved there either. Right, yeah. Again, we can see a monthly trend there, and we've missed the bottom. Okay, it's also very narrow, so if we got in at the bottom, we wouldn't be able to uh, extract much from it. Because it would tend to probably uh, 
reverse very soon after after it hits hits the top of the channel. The, the channel being narrow means that it's going to reverse uh, much sooner than something with a wider channel. Okay. It's a, it has potential. If we go down to the weekly, okay, we've missed we've missed a lot of the movement already. So yeah, we'll keep it open, but we're looking for something a bit better than that. Okay, that's no good. I don't like what I see there either. You you got an idea now of what I'm looking for? Again, nothing there, and that doesn't form any channel. That's going sideways. Okay, let's look at this one. Okay, again, you can, eventually you won't even have to draw the channels. You can just look at the chart and you can see. You can see there, that this has got a lot of potential because it's definitely on an upward channel. It's recently moved from the bottom of the channel towards this point here. And it looks like it could continue, right? If you analyze on the daily, you can see it's on its way up. But again, you can draw channels within channels, and you can see there's another channel there. And it's just visited to the top of it. So, there's definitely no entry signal here. Okay. We go to the next one. Okay, that's totally erratic, so we... We move on to the next one again. Sometimes you have to move to the weekly to get a better idea. But this one, okay, I'm trying to get the, the channel drawn in. Okay, this one looks like it could have potential because it's recently just. Um, Bounced off this bottom uh, trend line here. Although that trend line is not confirmed because I've only got two points on the channel. And I'm assuming that that's the bottom of the channel, but I mean, it could be, it could be a channel like that, for example. So, very dangerous trade to get involved with. So. Okay, over here. I can see there's nothing, there's no pattern forming there, so I don't want to be involved. Alright, here is, on this one, we have a, an upward moving channel. Doesn't look too bad. Go to the weekly. Okay, again, it's, I'm not going to be catching it at a, at a very opportunistic point, so I'm not going to get involved there either. And then over here, you can see there's just no way we can form a channel there. So I'll close that one as well. So what I'm doing is I'm sifting out uh, all the long-term monthly charts for each currency pair, trying to find the best possible opportunity for a long-term trade. All right, so, so what I'm looking at here is another one on the monthly again and I can't really make sense of it so that one's not going to be uh, looked at. Again here we've got no real trend forming on the monthly chart. I'm going to close that one. Okay this doesn't make sense at all so we're going to close that one. Okay so we just keep going through them like that. Okay and over here now Yeah, that, that doesn't look too secure to me because uh, it's busy with a retracement. Uh, it's recently hit the top of the channel and it's busy with a retracement. Okay, here we don't have any, any trend whatsoever. Same goes here. Can't make up much yet. Go to the weekly. Alright, the data seems to be incomplete, so we'll just move on. Okay, and as you can see, it's totally erratic on this one. 
All right, so I'm going through a lot of charts, but that's the whole point to the system is to actually go through a lot of charts, find the one that you want to trade in, and then stick with it, uh, stick with it long term. Okay, this one's on a definite monthly uh, upward trend. Okay, but again, I haven't I haven't got it uh, visiting the bottom of the, the of the channel. So to get involved here, you're probably going to find it dropping back down to this uh, support line here. So uh, it might be one to watch for, for future reference, but right now I don't think it would be a good idea to get involved there. Okay, but I'll keep that one open for, for later. Because I'm going to um, filter them down further later when I, when I have uh, maybe a handful of them. Okay, this one here. You could say that it's on a very sharp upward movement there on the monthly. This one does have potential. So we'll keep that one for, for later. Another one with potential here. Yeah? Very sharp upward movement. It's just done a very, very long, uh, a long downward movement. I kind of like what I see there. Okay. We'll keep that one. This one doesn't seem to be making much sense here. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to skip that one. Again, we've got another one here. It may have potential. You see, I'm trying to draw channels to try and understand what what is going on. You see, this one doesn't seem to have enough data for me to be convinced that there is a channel forming there. Okay, there's very strong evidence that there's an upward movement continuing for months on end over there. See, now this is the kind of thing you're looking for. Uh, is You see a, week, a weekly uh, continuation along this channel would be very profitable. Although right now it's, it's dropping at quite a rate, and you would want to wait until it starts picking up again before you before you enter into a, a buy. Right over here. On that same on that same uh, pair, you can see currently, although on the monthly it's moving upward. If you look at the daily; it's actually currently moving downward. So you would have to wait for confirmation on the lower time frame. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take that one out of the equation. Okay, here we've got a monthly chart. We drill down, look at the weekly, potentially a good trade. Look at the daily, you can see it, it's showing signs that it might uh, want to start moving upwards from there. You see, that's actually not a bad one at all. You come down to the four hour chart, you can see it's at the bottom of that ch four hour chart channel. Okay, but on the hourly you can see it's busy dropping, so it might be getting ready to bounce with that bottom line there. Okay, but it's definitely one to keep open. Okay, now this one, this is all over the place, so we're going to avoid that. And this one is definitely moving upward.
but it's exhausted itself as you can see in the monthly so it could start falling again we don't want to be involved in a trade like that okay and there's one more chart and um, there's not much data there so we're going to skip that one so as you can see We've only got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight charts. Okay. Now we're going to start uh, comparing and trying to find the best one. So we've got a monthly chart there. We're going to put them all back on the monthly. And then we're going to select one that has the best monthly trend. You can see that one. You could go. You could go. You could go with this one. It's looking okay. But between the two there, you can see this is a much sharper downward trend. I'd be more inclined to go with this one. So I'm going to delete the first one. Now all of these, okay, now you can see, if you compare this one with this one, you can see this one is not in a very optimum position. It, it, you want to wait for it to at least come down to the bottom of that channel. So we're going to skip that one. So I'm just sort of uh, filtering them all out. So yeah, that's where the decisions become harder because now you've got to start sort of deciding which one you want to choose, right? The most convincing uh, trend on the monthly chart is probably uh, chart there okay so to get a to get a better idea of which one you should be choosing you have to start drilling down you can go maybe to the weekly on each one of them Right, so if I'm looking at the weekly, okay, and I, I compare, say, that one with this one, I don't see much difference. Yeah, I certainly don't like what I see here. If you get in this one right now, it could possibly still drop until it hits the bottom of the trend line, of the channel, and hits the bottom trend line. So I'm going to get rid of that one. Now this one looks very promising because it's going up on the monthly. It's already hit the, the bottom of the channel and it's on its way up. It's definitely on upward trend on the daily. It's done a small retracement on the 4 hour chart. The hourly. If you look at the hourly, you can see that it's actually um, kind of going down at the moment. So that's something you might need to watch out for. But yes, that's, that's got a lot of potential. So yes, in terms of a long-term... Uh, the trend following strategy. Now, now I'm looking at the weekly on all of them. And we're not really finding anything. Okay, if you look at and put them all on the weekly. Okay, this one. This one looks okay. So does that one. 
This one's already uh, started retracing back from the support line. So any of these are potentially good trades. Okay. Now, if you look at this one here, it's got a very wide, it's got a very wide channel compared to the others. Probably the widest channel. Okay, this can tell you a lot too. And the fact that it's it's right at the top support line and it's just bounced off it. And if you drill down, you can see it's on its way down again. So if you got involved in this trade, it would definitely it's not it's not gonna be uh something that you'd expect to um go in the wrong direction. You see now what I've actually found now is something that is behaving the way I would like it to behave. Right? Even on the five minute chart it's on its way down. And on the one minute chart. So yes, that's how I drill down to the one that I would would want to trade in. Okay. You can see there. So what I'll do there is I'll, I'll open up, uh, obviously, if you're looking at the monthly, you can see it's a downward movement, okay? And you can see under the cell, and it's it's moved quite a bit, uh, from, from the point where I sold it, it's, it's, it's already begun to move downward. And the hope here is that if you look at the monthly, I could be looking at holding a position for a very long time and getting getting a movement from the top of this channel all the way down to the bottom. And that's basically how to go about long-term trading uh, within channels. Well, I hope this video has been helpful. Thank you for watching.